Last student, today we are going to see four topic: class interval, class size, class marks, and range. So let's see. Here, class interval is two types. So one is inclusive class interval. Another is exclusive class interval. Exclusive class interval. So what is the difference between these two? Let's see. if we take for example like zero to nine, ten to nineteen, nineteen to sorry, twenty to twenty nine. So we we'll look at here. What you can see, if we look at here, what there's a gap. Look at zero to nine. There's a gap. Then ten to that. If we represent it in a line. Segment you can see here zero to nine, zero to nine, and there is a gap ten to ninety, and there is a gap twenty to twenty nine. So this one is a discrete form. That means inclusive class interval is a discrete form. Here, your we call this is lower limit, upper limit. So here your lower limit and upper limit both are included. If any student marks would be there nine, then it will be included here. If ten marks, we will include it here. So for exclusive class interval, if we go for exclusive interval, so zero to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty. If we take it on a line segment, you can see that there is no gap. That means zero to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty. There is no gap. Continuous form. There is a limitation for it. If any student got 9.5, then where will we going to keep it? In this interval or in this interval? No, we cannot keep anywhere. So there is a limitation for class inclusive class interval. So if any student get 9.5, we can keep that student mass in this category 0 to 10. If any student get exact 10, where will we keep? Second class interval. Why, sir? Because exclusive class interval means here your upper limit will be excluded. That is the lower limit, upper limit, lower limit, upper limit, lower limit, upper limit. So here your upper limit will be excluded. Lower limit only included. But in this case, upper and lower both will be included. So this form you can see here. One is inclusive, one is exclusive class interval. Okay, this is you can see. Now we're going to present here what class size. How are we going to find the class size? So if we go for this one for inclusive class interval and for exclusive class interval, we have a formula that is class size equals to upper limit minus lower limit. That is upper limit for this one is what a minus two. We are getting here check. And for inclusive class interval, class size formula is what upper limit minus lower limit plus one. So nine minus two plus one will get what check. You can see that. This is your class size. So now if I take different one. If I take here your 10 to 20 and here also 10 to 20. Are you going to find 20 minus 10 will give you 10. But if we proceed here 20 minus 10 plus 1 that means 11. So there is a difference. Okay. So now we will go for class 1. Okay, let me tell before that. The class size have what? Three names. We call class what? Width. One. Another is height of the class. There are two names. So let's proceed for class mark. So what do we mean by class marks? The middle value of the class interval. Middle value of the class interval that means there is a formula for both have a same formula that is class mark or mean value we call. Class mark is upper limit plus lower limit. By two. Here also same thing. Class mark 
for exclusive, that is upper limit plus lower limit by 2. Now, if you check this interval only, that means 20 plus 8 by 2 will get what? 30, that means 15, and 15 is in the middle of this 10 to 20. So, if we proceed here, same only 10, 20 plus 8 by 2, that is 30 by 2, that is 15. Both will remain same here, no difference between these two. Now, what is range? Okay, we will try to understand what is range here. It will not come under this category. Okay, before discussing about the range, let's see how to convert inclusive class interval to exclusive class interval. If I give you one problem like uh, 0 to 9, 9 to, not 9, 10 to, 19 and 20 to 29, how are we going to convert this inclusive form to exclusive? What we will to do? We will subtract 0.5 from lower limit and add 0.5 to upper limit to make it in a continuous form. Now, so is it always 0.5? No. Just to check the difference between these two. Just to check the difference between two, that is 10 and 9, there is a gap between 1 and divide it by 2. If there is a gap between 2, divide it by 2, we will get 1. So, we will add 1 and subtract 1 like that. Okay. Just to check the difference between them and then divide it by 2, whatever you will get, subtract from upper limit, no, add from, add to upper limit and subtract from lower limit. But what about this one sir? If we will subtract 0.5 from 0, we will get negative. So, statistics will not give you negative here. So, we will not go for negative. We will keep it here 0 and here we will proceed 9.5. If we subtract 0.5 from 10, we will get 9.5. And if you add 19 with the 0.5, you will get here 19.5. Similarly, if you go for this one, 20.5 and here 29.5. Now, if I take the difference, another one, like if you go for uh, 0 to 8, 10 to 18, and then uh, 20 to 28. Okay. See the difference between these two 8 and 10, 2 gap. 18 and 20, 2 gap. How are you going to be present here? 2 gap divided by 2 will get 1. That means we will add 1 in what? Upper limit and subtract in the 1 from lower limit. So here we will get 0. We cannot subtract for 0. Negative will get, will not do. So 9 and we subtract here. 9 will get, and we'll add 19 will get. We'll subtract here, we will get 19 and we will add here 29. This way, we need to convert inclusive form to exclusive form. Okay. Now, if 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 it is not, if it is, think it is. If it is not, what zero? Then, if we are going to subtract, yes, definitely in that case. And if I take here ten to uh, take here eighteen, so in that case, or we go for sixteen. So that gap is what two gap divided by 2 will get 1 that means 1 comma 9 and the 9 comma here 7 this will be your conversion form ok now we will proceed for range range is quite different range means what maximum value minus minimum value what is the difference between maximum value and minimum value if I give data 7, 8, 2, 7, 9, 4, 3 these are the marks of the student now asking you that find the range of given data. So, range means what? Maximum value minus minimum value. So, maximum value is what? Find it here. Yes, 9. And minimum value? Yes, 2. So, we are getting 7. This is our answer. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.